Should I wear my, my video glasses? Whoa. What's up, Ernesto? How's it going? You also missed the vlog? I know, man, I gotta work. I know, it's always the same thing. I promise you, we're gonna spend more time together, okay? I swear. Oh, Ernesto, you're my best friend. So, did you? No? That was sleazy. Hi guys, welcome back for another small, little, small video. One of the things that I get asked all the time is why I am not uploading my videos in 4K, why I'm not recording my videos in 4K, why I'm not posting my videos in 4K. With my video about me switching back to Canon, I stirred a little bit the pot and people were wondering why. Is the Lumix not a good camera? What about if you switch to Sony? Don't you believe in 4K? I have learned in my career, in my job, that marketing can change the idea of people in a very radical way. People get very biased by the information that they get from the outside world. My technical experience, as well as my knowledge in the field, has led me to believe that 4K doesn't really exist yet. At least, at a consumer level. Say, YouTubers that wanna make videos just like this one. I need a solution for when I'm on the move, which is compatible 100% with whatever I have at home, because at home is where I spend most of my time recording speeches and small sketches like this one. Unfortunately, the Panasonic that I had before, that I had to return, was not a reliable camera. The Sony, I simply don't enjoy using them. They're too difficult to... Uh, there are so, ma so many things that I don't like about Sony. Canon still is the best portable solution and the quality of the video is just outstanding. In the past, I've uploaded some videos that did not look good, but I've then come to the realization that it was my problem. I used a very bad compression to upload them on YouTube. A lot of things that I was doing wrong that I blamed actually on my equipment, on my gear. The reason why I'm switching back to Canon is because I want to have the same type of format with bitrate and the quality of the picture itself as I have on my point and shoot also at home. Panasonic, I'm very happy with it. There is basically no major issue. Yes, of course, they could improve the range of lenses that they have available. Small things that, you know, would make it even better. Regarding the 4K capabilities of this camera, I don't believe in 4K myself. First of all, because whoever I talk to, they all uh, seem to have very big issues when it comes to editing the video in 4K. And this is something where people get really frustrated. It seems like these lower consumer end cameras, such as the G85 for instance, what they record, it's not really 4K, but rather a stretched out HD. Myself, I come from a technical background. I work in a digital image processing, 3D and all that kind of stuff. I've been involved in the production of films and a lot of things that I found out during my research about this topic actually make sense. For instance, the size of the sensor in megapixels that take 4K video is very often the same one used in uh, cameras that take only HD videos. The, the only cameras that are really able to shoot very high definition videos have a much bigger format compared to these low-end consumer cameras. I met with a friend of mine, he's also a uh, film producer, he makes small independent videos as well as uh, music videos, and he basically explained to me that the cameras that are actually able to produce such high quality film, they have a different system with which they record and save these files, as well as a much more powerful processor inside that can process this information, which in a way would be impossible to power with batteries the size of these cameras. The tricky thing is that when we record an HD video and we display it on a 4K uh, TV or a 4K computer, the density of the pixels distributed across the surface is so dense that we don't really see the difference between an HD and a 4K. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. Then of course, if we're talking about real 4K or 6K or 8K cameras, then those are actually able to interpolate the samples between a pixel and another and offer a higher definition, higher real definition. I just wanted to put it out there because if you're a YouTuber and you're watching whatever it is that I'm making, you have to know that I'm recording in HD. 
and probably for the kind of job that I want to do and the kind of content that I want to deliver, this is going to be enough for a very long time. If you go and watch this video that I posted a couple of weeks ago, I'll post the link again from Linus Tech Tips. He basically says that if you take an HD video and stretch it across a 4K resolution video and play it back on YouTube, you'll see that even at the HD definition, this video will play out smoother. But this is only due to the compression algorithm that is used by YouTube to play back these videos for you guys to watch. To sum it up, is it useful to have a 4K camera? If you're buying a lower end, like say a Sony or a Panasonic G85, 4K it's probably useless. If you wanna make YouTube videos just like the one that you're watching here, 4K is probably useless. If you are interested in good quality video and you wanna do stuff just like I am, HD will be more than enough. In fact, my suggestion to you if you're looking into buying a camera, buy a camera that produces a quality of video that you really like and use that one. There is no need to think about things like 4K because 4K is at this point useless. I really hope this makes sense for you. If it does, hit the like button. If it doesn't, let me know, write a comment. I have no interest, I'm not trying to sell you anything, I'm just showing you my, my real point of view. Consider me like a friendly neighbor that is trying to help you out. That's all, okay? All right guys, I'll see you hopefully tomorrow with another video. If not, bear with me, see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.